common video effect that we see is the heat waves going across a desert road, and that's what we're going to learn how to do today. So open up After Effects, and the first thing we need to do is uh, import the image that we're going to affect. So you can either double click in the panel or hit Command I to get import, and we will bring in Monument Valley. And we will drag that into our comp so that our comp is the size of the picture. Let's hit Command K and we'll, re we'll rename this Your Name Heat Waves. Make sure the comp is 10 seconds long. Um, if it's shorter than that, when you lengthen it, what will happen is that the layer will look something like this. Let's say it was a five second comp to begin with. And so you will now need to drag this layer all the way to the end of the comp to make that work. Okay, so now let's create a new solid doesn't matter what color it is. And I'm going to either right click or control click on it and I'm going to tell it to pre-compose and I'm going to call it red particles. And now I'm going to double click to open that comp. And in effects, if you type in CC part, uh, CC particle system 2 will show up and you can drag that into your comp. And now we will set up the particle system. Uh, let's set the birth rate to 8, the longevity to 8, twirl down producer. Let's drag this down until the, produce, the emitter point for the producer is just below our comp. And we want our radius X to be 1,000. Let's twirl down physics. We want our direction, to animation, set that to direction. We want our velocity to be at zero. We want our gravity to be minus 0.1. We'll go to particle. We'll change our particle type to faded sphere. We will set the uh, birth size to 1, the death size to 0.05, the max opacity to 50, and our birth color, let's make it pure red. So we'll drag this bar up here, and our death color, we want it to be black. So let's hit the render bar and we'll see what the effect looks like. And that's what and so really around around second four it covers the whole field and so we'll want to remember that when we bring that into our original comp. We're also going to want to uh, soften this a little bit with fast blur. So we'll drag that into the into the system and we will set fast blur to 10. All right. So now we'll go back to our main comp and we've got our red particles that we see going right here. And so let's, I'm going to hit home to go to the beginning of the comp. And basically we want to just drag our red particles until they're filling the frame. I'm going to now adjust my comp. Let's, let's just render three seconds worth of this. So I'm going to adjust the render bar to cover that as well. We're going to create a new adjustment layer. And we're going to call this Effect. So just hitting the return button on a highlighted layer allows you to rename it. We are going to go to d distortion and we are going to find displacement map. We are going to drag that into that comp and 
we want to, first of all, the layer that we want to displace is red particles. We want our horizontal distortion to be 10. And then we can turn off the eyeball on red particles. And when we render, we see that we're getting the distortion effect. Let's get it up to speed for a second, let it render. You'll notice that we're kind of coming off our comp right here, so let's take our, let's scale up our image to 102%. And now we've got a nice clean edge all around our whole composition. Next thing that we, next thing we want to do is we want to put a little bit of a shimmer on the road. And so what we'll do is we will duplicate our image layer with Command D. I'm going to hit Return, and we will rename it Shimmer. I'm going to hit S to call up Scale. I'm going to unlink it. I'm going to make this minus 102 to flip it upside down. hit T and let's set the opacity at uh, about 35% so we can see. So basically we want to get this mountain shimmer that's on the road. Uh, this is the part that we want to have shimmer. So this is kind of our sweet spot here. And we're going to build three little masks. So I'm going to zoom in um, to 400%. I'm put, placing down the space bar to get the little hand and dragging this to where I want to work. And we are going to create three masks. going to set this to screen mode and let's open up the uh, let, let's open up the masks and we are going to alt click expansion and we are going to wiggle the opacity of it so in here we'll put wiggle one, two, alt click here, we'll create a slightly different wiggle, 1.2 comma 2.3, and alt click the expansion here, wiggle. Eight comma one point nine. And let's go back to our normal view. I'm going to turn off the uh, so there's the shimmer. Um, let's soften the let's feather the edges three on each one to make it blend a little bit better. Oh, got an expression error, sorry. I, uh, there we go. So that creates our little shimmer. Next, we will create a new adjustment layer. And I'll hit return and we're going to call it flare. Type in the flare in the uh, panel and you'll see lens flare pop up. 
we'll add that. And we will drag this layer just off the comp. Let's set it, let's see what 105 looks like. So we'll brighten that flare up to make it seem a little bit hotter and it's bringing up the blacks. And we will um, hit option, we'll hit the alt button and flare brightness and we're gonna wiggle the flare brightness, we're gonna, and uh, we'll plug in 0.5 and 15. Oop. Didn't get my parentheses right. There we go. So that's the basic effect. Um, I want to do a little bit of color correction to our background now to make it seem more desaturated and like it's a hotter summer day. So we will drag in some curves. And oh, I got to turn my cap lock off. So let's reset this. Drag in some curves to make the, the brights brighter. Bring down the darks a little bit. And then let's bring in hue and saturation into our valley. And we will just drag down our saturation until it looks more unwelcoming. render that 